put out a call that I've got one confirmed dead, major damage. We keep going about another mile or two, they've got two confirmed dead. And I said, this is, this is just not good. When Bill Harris arrived at the command center, he knew what he was up against. I said, I'm gonna need help. I don't know how many I have. I got seven right now known, and I said, I expect at least three times that. Harris would be proven right. The Lee County tornado would claim 23 lives. The tiny town of Beauregard capturing the nation's attention. From, from the minute things started, it was over. The, the community started coming together and, and help was being offered. What can we do? What can we do? Donations poured in. Help flooded the streets. By the end of the week, President Donald Trump was hugging victims. That this was the place where the focus of the world literally was, okay? Shaking hands with community leaders like Providence Baptist pastor Rusty Sow. But it was very sincere. He was very cordial. And what they've been through is... Whose church became the gathering place for victims' families. It was, it was a tremendous uh, picture of grace and mercy. Our community very much appreciated that the leader of the free world and his wife came to our little corner of the world and said, we care. Sal and Harris met personally with every family to deliver the tragic news. I remember her uh, family at that moment whenever they were told this is her. You know? These two men are just part of the community which helped make Beauregard strong. This is always going to be a, always going to be a part of who we are and what we're to be about in making a difference.